Welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be experimenting with making terracotta flooring. I'm working on a little bit of a side project from the West Old West Hotel and I didn't want to do wooden flooring like I always do. I got out my chalk pastels and I pulled out some tan and some reddish brown, a light orange, medium orange, and a darker brown. And I'm coloring this cop well cardstock paper. It's cream color, but you could use white. I just had cream. And I'm coloring it and blending it with this makeup applicator. But I'm also uh, going to go over it and reapply it to darken it in some areas. So I will be layering it up until it is the, the depth of color that I want for these terracotta tiles. Once I have the color just the way I want it, I'm going to brush off into the trash all of the, the dust, if there is any, from the chalk pastels. And then I'm going to spray it with hairspray because that will help set the color. Make sure it's dry and then cut it with my cutting machine. One of the first things I want to try with these tiles is inking the edges with this Distress Ink. I usually do that with my wood flooring, so I thought it would try it with this terracotta tile. I thought it would give it kind of that grout look without doing the grout. This is a different bunch of tiles that I cut from paper that I colored with mainly browns instead of more of the orangey brown terracotta color. And then, I know this is strange, but I, I did shades of blue and I'm inking the edges of those two as well. Because of the little side project I'm working on, I don't know really what color of tile I want in there, so that's why I'm practicing on some of these different with some of these different colors. I thought for each one that I should glue down a little section of each to give me an idea of how they look grouped together. So this first one is the terracotta colored tiles. And I did ink the edges of these. If these tiles work, they definitely wouldn't be good to do for a huge project. But if you were just doing a small little section of a project or maybe one little room, it would probably work out pretty well like a small room box, a kitchen, or a bathroom. I love how each tile, there is such variation in the color, and then when you put it all together, it just looks so realistic and natural to me. It's fun to just pick up a tile and glue it down. I'm trying not to pick out a certain tile to put next to another one. I'm just letting it happen, very random. This group of tiles is the one where I did the shades of brown, and I, I did ink the edges on these as well really like the way the brown was turning out so it gave me an idea to maybe mix a few of the brown with a few of the terracotta and this is how that is looking this square I'm working on is the one where I mix them I've glued down two sections of the blue tiles because on one I'm going to leave it dull and the other one I am going to paint maybe diamond glaze or Mod Podge or something on it to shine it up and now I'm gluing down two sections of pink and one of them I did ink the edges and this one I'm gluing right now I did not ink the edges. Here I am painting diamond glaze on certain groups of my tiles. That way I can see if I like it shiny as if the tile had been sealed or just plain as if it hadn't been. I really wish that I would have thought about using Mod Podge on one, maybe Triple Thick on one, to give me an idea of what kind of shiny I like too. And then I started to question myself and think, is this really ridiculous? Should I just cut out the paper to look like tiles and color it after the fact? So that's what I did. I went ahead and glued them all down and now I'm just adding the chalk pastels directly to it that way. One thing I did like about doing it this way was the way that the chalk pastels darkened the lines in between each tile naturally. Just like I did when I was coloring before, I had to go over it and darken it some. And here are my results. This first one, I did not ink the edges. I just glued the pieces together. The second one, the edges are inked. I like either way, but I think the inked edge I like best because I like the lines in between how they were darker and it looked like grout. It seemed the most realistic to me. Square is the one that I glued all of the pieces down before coloring them and then I colored them after they were glued down. It's okay. I don't think it looks like the other one where it's kind of random. It just 
it gives you the idea of the terracotta flooring and especially compared to the one that's in the middle the inked one so you can see a difference of all three there and this one I decided to paint that shine the diamond glaze but I'm I really wish that I would have used a better brush because it really left some really bad brush marks and here's how the blue turned out I really like the blue a lot and I love it when I painted the diamond glaze on it really intensified the color the camera is just not picking up how it just made the color feel so deep I thought it was really pretty but I like it shiny and I liked it not shiny and this one was all of the browns the different shades of browns and then this is the one where I mixed the brown and the orange the terracotta colors together which I really like it it's not showing up like it is in real life but I really do like that one and then the pink is really nice too and I like it with the shine and even without the shine I do not like what I used to ink the edges so don't pay attention to the edges on this one I'm not happy I did have a pink but I didn't like edging it with the pink so I thought I would try one that was a little bit more brown thank you so much for watching me experiment today and I will see you next time.